Building a line of thermals is something that's been a vision of ours for quite a long time at Goodnight Gear, and a lot of you guys have been asking us to create a budget-friendly lineup of thermals, so we are going to try to bring these products to life, and wanted some feedback from you guys about how to make some of the most feature-rich and competitive thermals on the market, designed the way that you want them to be. And as a thank you for your help and your feedback, we're going to be giving away an MVG50 to one of you who complete the survey. And all you have to do to enter is check out the survey, and if you're interested in thermal, you can give us some tips on how to create the best products possible and we'll keep you in the loop about when they get released and if you're not interested in thermals you can just skip to the end and leave us your email to enter there will be a link to the survey in the description of this video and also as a pinned comment and we're going to be drawing the winner on March 14th so there's not much time for you to get this done so if you do want a chance to win be sure to enter as soon as possible all right so the survey itself is really simple and I'll go through it with you guys and it should only take a couple of minutes first question is about the type of of resolution thermal that you might be looking to get and in general the higher the resolution the further the detection range and the sensitivity also increases and the nicer the sensor the better the performance the pricing is not finalized yet but they will be somewhere in this ballpark and we're going to try to be as competitive as possible and if you've done any research on thermals you know how expensive they can be and you know that these prices are really good and also keep in mind that you can select multiple options for most of these questions as well next question is just about the features that are most important to you and if you intend to use it mounted on a helmet like a lot of night vision users do mounted to a pick rail in front of an optic whether or not you might want to bridge it and run a bino setup with some other kind of digital or analog night vision devices or if you just plan to keep it as a handheld unit next we want to know what kind of stuff you're into and many of our customers are already using our digital night vision devices for these activities but it would be really great to know more about how you might use these devices so we can build it more specifically for what you plan to use it for and also potentially develop more accessories geared towards these different activities. Next question will give you a little more room to provide us with some written feedback about your wishes for the devices. So feel free to dive in here and let us know more about your needs and if there's something we might have overlooked that you think is important for us to keep in mind as we build these products. We are going to read each one of these surveys and this section will give you the opportunity to be the most influential in the development of these products if they're truly something that interests you. Next we want to know a bit more about the night vision and thermal that you may or may not already own so we can try to optimize these products for bridging compatibility with potential aftermarket mounts and adapters and we also want to know what the competition is up to and whether or not there's some cool night vision or thermal devices out there that you guys are already running that we don't know about we're also looking at developing a hybrid thermal night vision unit that would allow the user to switch back and forth between a thermal mode for detection and a night vision mode better suited for close-up tasks and for navigation and we want to gauge your interest about whether or not you'd be interested in something with similar night vision performance to the MVG50 that also combined thermal capabilities with a 256 by 192 thermal sensor that could easily be toggled back and forth. Let us know if you want to receive updates about these products and last but not least you can leave your name and email to be entered into the giveaway and the winner will be drawn and announced March 14th 2025 so again make sure to complete this before that date to enter the giveaway. We're only allowing one entry per person and we can track this by IP address and other data validation tools and duplicate entries will result in disqualification from the giveaway so again please be sure to enter only one time but if you have any friends or relatives that might want to enter you can also share this with them thanks again for your support and for updates on the project make sure to subscribe to the channel